Hello footy fans, welcome back to AFL Round 1 Part 2 here on footytips.com.au. Russell Barwick and Mark Dragosevich to find the winners in the second phase of the first round. A uh, couple of massive upsets last week. Good for footy, GWS and also Gold Coast. Uh, very, very good to see GWS knock off the big brother, Sydney Swans. Uh, and they played Sydney Swans football. That's actually really, really impressive. So too did the Gold Coast, though. The Gold Coast did, yes. They knocked off my boys. And uh, look, they actually outplayed them from the start. And uh, really, really impressive. And the maestro was at it again. Yeah, I think there's some really good things to look forward to from uh, the GWS mm -hmm. giant killers and also the Suns' point of view. Forget about that. Let's move on to this week. Geelong hosting Adelaide Friday night at Simmons. Yeah. Depth will be tested for both sides. Uh, little speedsters, Christensen and Motlop will be mm -hmm. out for the Cats up forward. And also you've got Walker and Lynch up forward for the uh, Crows. Plus you've got Van Burlow and Douglas in the midfield. That's a fair chunk out of their side. Mm -hmm. Here's a stat, 28 of 22 from Simmons Stadium for the Geelong Cats. Adelaide haven't won there since 2003. That for mine is enough. Cats will win. Yeah, you've got to say that uh, stats are on their side. North Melbourne taking on the Bombers. This is an interesting game. How will the Bombers start this year, given what's going on for the last 12 or 18 months? Well, notoriously, they're very fast starters. Yes. And, uh, so they've won their last three round one Well, they led the competition the last couple of years. They have. And Brad Scott's team haven't won a round one game since he's taken over coaching. So having a couple of even teams, I'll go with stats like that and history like that and pick the uh, the Bombers. Okay, St Kilda taking on Melbourne in uh, a game that's probably an even Stevens matchup. Well, this could be quite ugly. Saints are missing Hayes, Stephen, Montagna, Fisher, Gilbert, Schneider. That's pretty tough. And then yeah. you take out of Melbourne's forward line doors and now Mitch Clark, unfortunately. Yeah, it makes for quite an ugly game. It could, be, game, but could be nil all. It could be nil all. It could be nil all. <laughs> Melbourne haven't won 16 uh, home and away games uh, at Etihad Stadium, the last 16. So, yeah, again, I'm going with Paul Roos, actually. I'm going to yeah. go with Paul Roos. Okay, and Hawthorne get the uh, lovely start. The reigning premiers at Aurora against the Lions. Yep, home away from home. They've won their last seven there. They'll make that eight. Quite clearly, yeah. yeah. They've beaten them by an average of 10 goals the last four times. Yeah, hard to argue with that one. And we wrap it up with the West Coast hosting the Western Bullies. Potentially your upset is here, given the Western Bullies get to travel a couple of days in advance. I really think this would be a lot closer than people think. It'll be Battle of the Midfields, Clearance Kings. We've got Tommy Liberatore for the Bulldogs, and the West Coast were number two last year in clearances. So, look, we've got Minson versus Cox, and really, really exciting mm -hmm. matchups, but I think it will come down to the big power forwards of the Eagles. Kennedy and uh, Kennedy and Darlin kicked 102 between them last year. Yeah, they're pretty good up forward. That's no doubt about that. Dragger's tips on screen now, as you can see them there. The Cats to continue that unbelievable run at Simmons Stadium. Mm -hmm. Essendon to beat uh, the North Melbourne Kangaroos and continue uh, Brad Scott's curse. The Hawks should win. Melbourne to beat the Saints and the Eagles, wrapping it up against the Western Bulldogs. <laughs>